If you've just got yourself a lavalier mic or thinking about getting one, then watch this video. I'm going to show you how to wear a lavalier microphone and best placement. Hi, I'm Andrew from Seek Look Digital Video, giving tips on making videos, content creation and gear reviews. Subscribe below and leave a comment. A lavalier microphone, also known as a lav mic or a lapel mic, is a small microphone that can be clipped to a person's clothing. They're really good for using for video pieces to camera, such as interviews, presentations, live streams and conference calls, and allow you to have complete freedom with your hands. Most lavalier mics are omnidirectional, which means they pick up sound all around you. So it's really important that you get the right placement. Try and get as close to the mouth as possible so you can get the best audio. The ideal placement is about 12 centimeters from the mouth or in line with the chest or chin. Always make sure that your microphone is secured in its clip before being placed on the clothing. To get the best sound possible, I recommend that you create what's known as a broadcast loop. A broadcast loop is a small loop which is used to secure the lavalier microphone without getting any audio interference. You'll normally see this professional look on TV. To do this, run the cable behind the clothing, then make sure you insert your mic into its clip. Make a small loop, then loop the cable back into the clasp of the clip. Attach the clip to your clothing, then hide the loop behind the clothing to prevent the mic from moving around. This way, you won't get any rustling noises or interference. You can then tape the extra cable behind the jacket or shirt. Lastly, make sure the mic is pointing towards the mouth. For jackets and blazers, the microphone should be clipped to the lapel. A lavalier microphone can always be clipped to a tie, ensuring that the cable is hidden behind the tie. For shirts with buttons, you can take the microphone up through the shirt and out of a buttonhole near the chest, hiding the cable in the process. The microphone should then be clipped where the buttons are. For t-shirts and other tops without buttons, you can always run the microphone up through the top and clip to the collar. The microphone should be placed centrally on the collar under the chin. For dresses and other full length bodysuits, place your microphone on the collar and then run the cable over the shoulder and down the back. For all these positions, just make sure that the microphone isn't rubbing against any clothing, hair or jewelry or you'll hear this noise and it will ruin your audio recording. In some situations, you might want to hide your lavalier mic under a t-shirt, under a tie, under a collar, under a dress. If you're wanting to hide under a t-shirt, you can do this by simply using gaffer tape. Make sure to fold the tape into a small triangle. You'll need to make two triangles so you can sandwich the mic in between them. That way you can place one side on the chest and the other side on the t-shirt. Doing it this way will stop the mic from rubbing against the clothing or the skin and you won't get any rustling noises. You can also use an Invisilab made by Rode which will do the same thing. I'll leave a link for that below. So it's actually not that complicated when it comes to wearing and placement of a lavalier mic. If you liked this video, then please subscribe for more. I'm all mic'd up, ready to go. See you soon. For more filming tips, check out this playlist. And remember, subscribe below and leave a comment.